Good morning. I'm ha Council Member Helen Rosenthal. I chair the Committee on Women. Today, the committee will vote on its half of the Stop Sexual Harassment in New York City Act. Following the vote, will we, be, we will be joined by the Committee on Public Safety, chaired by Council Member Donovan Richards, for an oversight hearing examining NYPD's response to sex crimes. The Stop Sexual Harassment in New York City Act represents a first step toward comprehensively ending sexual harassment uh, in New York City. It was first heard on February 28th, and since then we have heard from advocates and stakeholders and improve the package in significant ways. This morning, we'll be vo voting on the following bills. Intro 612, sponsored by Speaker Corey Johnson, which will require all city employees to receive anti-sexual harassment training. Intro 613, sponsored by Council Member Adrian Adams, which will require the Department of Citywide Administrative Services to conduct a sexual harassment risk factor assessment for each city agency. Intro 630, sponsored by Council Members Robert Cornegy and Lori Cumbo, which will require the placement of an anti-sexual harassment rights and responsibilities poster in every workplace in the city. Intro 632, sponsored by Majority Leader Lori Cumbo and Public Advocate Letitia James, which will require the provision of anti-sexual harassment training by private employers. Intro 653, sponsored by Council Member Mark Levine, Jamani Williams, Richie Torres, and Fernando Cabrera, which will require city agencies to report on sexual harassment complaints and the outcomes of investigations. Intro 693, sponsored by Council Member Van Bramer, will require businesses contracting with the city to disclose their sexual harassment policies. And finally, intro 664, sponsored by myself, which will require the city to conduct a survey, a survey of all its employees on the climate of their workplace and their knowledge of the city's anti-harassment policies and require that agencies implement action plans to address any concerns the surveys raise. Taken together and with the bills to be voted on later today by the Committee on Civil and Human Rights, these bills expand protections, confront flawed processes, and establish new mechanisms for accountability. And just as importantly, they are just the beginning. Before we start, I'd like to thank Speaker Corey Johnson for his extraordinary leadership and partnership in putting this package together and to getting it done. The Speaker was never content to just check a box and make sure that legislation we were crafting uh, he, I, let me say that again, because it's so important. The speaker was never content to just check a box. He made sure that the legislation we were crafting would truly make an impact. I also want to thank everyone here at the council who worked so hard to implement that vision, including my legislative director, Sean Fitzpatrick, and my women's issues intern, Amina Shikupilwa, I also want to thank Tirza Nasser on, and her entire team in the Council's Human Service Division, including Aminta Kilowan, Malcolm Butehorn, um, Balkis Mirig, Brenda McKinney, Chloe Rivera, and Joan Povolny. Ravia, Kasim, Sheila Johnson, and Daniel Krupp. And now I'll ask the clerk to call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote. Committee on Women, all items are coupled. Chair Rosenthal. Proudly aye on all. Cumbo. Proudly vote aye on all. Lander. 
Vote aye on all, and I ask to be added as a co-sponsor onto all of these bills. Vote aye. Ayala. Aye on all, and I would also like to be added on as a co-sponsor on all of the bills. I vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. This committee has adjourned.